y'all what is going on guys shinny got me here and uh yeah we're back with some more Jenhu deathmatch so this is the outfit we're in today we're kind of iced out i'm not gonna hold you we're, we're pretty iced out here so this is the helm we got we got the wailing chest these are the arms we got we got the ganjiang blade this is the hilt we got and we got the ganjiang guard so uh yeah Let's get into the Elam. Before we get into the Elam, I'd like to thank W once again for sponsoring me. Now, W makes some great energy drinks that help improve your reflexes and your focus. They have some really great apparel for you guys. They got hats, t-shirts, hoodies, you know, they got the works. They also have cups for your drinks and joy cap sticks for your controllers. So if that all sounds interesting, you guys can click the link I have in the description for W and use my code SHINYSOCIETY to get 10% off your next W purchase. There's a whole lot of great stuff there. I recommend you guys check it out. And if you get a drink, then you should try out the beach and peach flavor or maybe galaxy grenade those are really good but uh yeah let's come to the elam so there's been speculation that kensei might get a rework and the reason for that is because in the roadmap you can see like if you zoom in on the testing ground section you can see kensei in the picture as well as warden and orochi kind of in the background i don't think warden and orochi are getting like anything but the main focus for everyone has been Kensei. He might get a rework, he might not. And then also in another frame, you can see like an Anubis looking creature in the background of the battle path. I think it's Anubis, so that might mean we could get an Egyptian character. Fingers crossed. I think that, that would be really interesting. Now, I'm recording the next three videos in advance, so if something does happen, like in a Warrior's Den, then I'm gonna, you know, put it in like text form in here or something like that. And I'll even post it on Instagram as well, so my Instagram link is in the description as well. And it has also been like a really weird week. It was last Wednesday, I went to a friend's funeral. That was pretty weird, honestly. Because you're just sitting there, you're like, I grew up with this person. I knew this person and now they're dead. It's really weird. And I'll also pause the music here because this is a uh, important thing to say. The cause of, uh, cause of death was overdose. So if anyone's like struggling with addiction and all that, you gotta stop, dude. It's not gonna, those drugs aren't gonna help you, man. Those drugs are gonna make everything worse, trust me. And you might be, you know, taking them because you feel a certain way. Like, I understand that. You guys are probably thinking, well, who is he to say this? He's just a random YouTube guy. Yeah, dude, I'm just a dude who makes For Honor videos. But I'm also a dude who knows if you continue this path it's not going to be good dude if you're struggling dude you got to stop that stuff is only going to do more harm to you than good and it might be annoying hearing all these people you know try to tell you you know that what you're doing is wrong i i get that but people would rather you know you be annoyed to them than see you dead so just think about that one but also what is this enemy team this is interesting i don't know how this is gonna go Three Yorms and an Aramusha. I don't know what to expect in this match. I know to be annoyed by Musha. This is a really weird first match on. Well, we got a Yorm, obviously. There's only like a three and four chance of getting a Yorm. Okay. Okay. Alright. Yorms can be kind of scary, I'm not gonna hold you. Cause they get they get their hands on you, dude. You gotta be careful. Who is this? Oh, it's Musha, he's running away. Cool. I'm gonna go grab this health then. Okay, it is just one guy left. Huh. It's kind of interesting to be on uh, the opposite end of that. Usually, like, I'm the last one standing whenever I go into elimination. But, uh, it's nice to, you know, have teammates that are, you know, holding their own. Yeah, so you fight the Aramusha because I do not want to. I will res you though. Okay. So if I hit you with an unblockable, you're not gonna be upset? Ain't nobody was swinging at you. Nobody was swinging at you. Alright, round two, we got the Yorm- or one of the other three Yorms. Good parry. Nice. Yo, oh, oh, my attack did not come out. Oh, 
Oh my god, he's not doing the... Huh? For some reason, he didn't light. Or heavy, whatever. He didn't punish me. He just looked at me. That caught me off guard. Now, I'm not going to, like, hit this Musha in the back of his head unless he looks at me. You know, starts swinging at me. Don't mind if I take this, guys. I'm pretty sure Glad's gonna win that anyways. And people like that are also kind of interesting. I should be grabbing that. Actually, no, I want Glad to have it, because he's lower. People like, like uh, that are Musha are kind of interesting. Because, like... You know, no one will swing at them. They'll just be watching, and then they just start swinging at everyone. I don't understand why people do that. Because you're just making more enemies than you, you know, need. I'm gonna go get that revive, though. I'll let Glad deal with them. Y'all already know how I feel about our Musha. Plus, I'm not very familiar with the matchup between Musha and Genhu, so I don't, you know... Ooh, Glad with them dodges. I like that. Come on, Glad, you got it. At least I hope so. I'll have to practice with this matchup more. Oh, he just took it and left. That's crazy. There we go. But yeah, I have to practice with the Jenhu Armusha matchup. Oh, thank God we got the Yorm. Let's go. Or the third Yorm. Oh, good catch. Oh, I made the wrong read. I made the wrong read. I made the right read. Let's go. I made the wrong read. Let's go. I made the wrong read. Let's go. I made the wrong read. Let's go. My light hit the- Oh no! My light hit the tree! Oh, now I have to fight the Armusha. Come on. They were all kind of getting clapped in this round, honestly. As long as JJ just does- oh. Yeah. Just live, buddy. I guess. I want to throw more heavies, but they're just like waiting for me to throw heavies. So it's kind of like. Okay, let's try this. Yeah. Light stuff. Yeah, I gotta throw lights. Oh my god. Oh, thank God we got him. I see how you tried to pull that longbow, dude. We're not doing that around here, dude. But yeah, I really hope that I was right on the Anubis guess. Oh my God, we have to get this guy. I cannot let him res this. Okay. I'm going to grab this Healy, though, on God. Oh, hello, Yorm, who beat me. Oh, oh, oh. Um, that wasn't the plan. I didn't know an old man would plummet from the sky. Please forgive me. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen. Yeah, I wanted to be more flashy there, but those guys just didn't care. But yeah, so back to the Kensei thing. As you guys know, well, as you can probably figure out, Kensei definitely isn't the character who needs a rework next. I'll give you a hint. We just fought the character who needs a rework next. Okay, and I'll give you an even uh, bigger hint as to who that character was. In the last match, there were three of them. Yeah, that character needs love next, and not Kensei. But yeah, Yorm is the one who needs to be touched up on next. Lord, I was so focused on making sure we didn't get a Lawbringer rework that I completely didn't account for a Kensei rework. But we'll, figure, we'll find out Thursday. I think they're supposed to be a Warriors Den this Thursday. Now, I know a lot of, uh, as for, like, a new character, because we're supposed to get a new character next season. A lot of people do not want another sword character. So let's count the sword heroes in this game, shall we? All right, let's restart the count, because I completely forgot. One, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 sword characters. Yeah, it, yeah, we need a little something else. But if we do get a, I mean, but to be fair, swords are like very common in like a lot of, uh, you know, cultures and countries and all that. So, you know, I mean, I get it. But if we do get an, uh, an Egyptian here, I can see him having a Kopesh. Which is basically what would happen if a sword and an axe had a child. I just hope he doesn't, like, have Kopesh and shield. I would much rather, like, not have a shield character, to be honest. I've never been a fan of sword and board. It just seems so plain and boring. Okay, round one. A new- new Shabbat. Sick. Huh? Ma'am. Thank you. Right, now we just wait for a fight. Okay, the raider is done. I'm gonna let him heal up because I don't wanna like, you know, fight him while he's weak. That wouldn't be fun now, would it? If he comes to me though, then I'll, you know, obviously fight, but if he does not want to fight, then I won't force him. Okay, apparently he wants to fight. Oh, I got guard broken out of my dodge light. Alright. Oh my god, he's guard breaking me out of so much. Oh my god. I got car broken out of so much. Who's next? Okay, the ladies are kissing. Let's go. Oh, I guess I'm fighting him again. Can he heal? I'll, I'll just go over here. Okay, I guess we're waiting. Oh, Valk was kind enough to let me get the shield. But then I have more health than Raider, so that's not fair. Okay. Well, who am I fighting now? I mean, if he goes to get a shield, then it's fair. Oh, he got the damage boost. Okay. Oh, we're fighting this raider. Oh. I'm just gonna let it fly. There's no way he's gonna parry. Bruh. Ooh, that was terrible input. Time is running out. Ooh, good thing. Oh my god! Am I supposed to have iframes? I, I thought it was a dodge specialist. I thought it was a dodge specialist to some degree at least. But these guys are pretty cool. I like them. Oh good. Uh, thanks. Oh my god! Oh my lord. Oh my god, dude. There's gotta love the dodge specialists in this game, dude. They're just so good at dodging. So many iframes. But where are these people at? I know there's a Tion D. Oh, there he is. Alright, Brother T. Let's go. Oh, good parry, brother T. Uh, 
Brother T with the option select. I like it. Go go on, Brother T. I mean, I would do it if I was him. So, I mean, I'm not going to say, you know, oh, he's options like me. He's like like me. No, dude. Do it. I do it all the time to Jen who's. We're just having a fight club. Cool. Kensei's prepping for his rework, I guess. Oh, hello, Raider. <laughs> Dude, I love when Elon turns into something like this. Am I supposed to res him? Oh, I guess they're letting me res him. Cool. Oh, God. Oh, we're fighting. Cool. Oh, he, do <laughs> he doesn't want him to fight me. But he doesn't want me to res. Okay, I'm confused. What are we doing? <laughs> oh, I couldn't res him. Okay. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> I don't blame him. Yay, we're going for a trip. Let's go. Oh god, the camera angle is so weird. I like how it said camera angle as if it wasn't the whole entire camera. Right, let's fight over here, Raider. I don't want to fight you by like a bridge or something. I like these guys. They're really fun. That was an explosion. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, it's a bot. Oh my god. What? Okay, I was about to say. Oh, it's Brother T. He might be here to put us out of our misery. Or Raider. One or the other. I'm fine with either. Hello, Brother T. Oh. Okay, Brother T. Okay, Brother T. Good fight. And I can see he also didn't like want to ledge me. But I appreciate that. <laughs> but I mean, you could have. I mean, I figured you were going to win either way because I was like so low. But yeah, you could have ledged me. I wouldn't have had an issue with that. Because the bot already did most of the emotional damage. All my team left? I mean, I'm not surprised. But I hope you guys enjoyed. This uh, wasn't really a flashy video. And I hope someone got that message uh, about drugs and all that. That I said in the beginning. I'm serious about that one. Like don't touch that stuff guys it's poison like that stuff is 100 percent poison do not touch that stuff please for the love of god now this sounds rude when i say this but this is not rude no one wants to attend your funeral or at least this early and i'm not saying this in oh this guy's a loser no one's going to his funeral no i'm saying that as in your like family and friends don't want to get a call that you're dead but if you guys like the music in this video, make sure to check out the playlist I got called Prod Ridman the Homie G. It's got all the good music I use in my videos, all made by Prod Ridman himself. He's a phenomenal artist. And if you want to get in contact with me, I got links to my Instagram, YouTube, and Discord in the description. In the Discord, we got like the drip section, in case you guys want to show off your drip. We got the we got the meme section, in case you guys want to drop some memes. We got the general drip. We got a whole lot of stuff. I recommend you guys check it out. And if you guys want 10% off your next W purchase. Make sure to click the link in the description and use my code SHINNY SOCIETY in all caps, SHINNY SOCIETY. So, uh, yeah. Embrace your dreams and protect your honor. And rest in peace, Brother Colton. Shinny got me out, y'all.